chama wa Azimio tutaendelea kukuru kutoka Jumatatu tutaelezea vile tutafanya kazi hapa. So because hizi tuko nyumbani. Pia mwanza kuwashukuru wote kwa ile kazi mlifanya jana. Na tamshua yes ya Zambaza na utaonana na baba umwambie siku furai ndio successful visit. Na tumeelewana hii hapa pia ya kwamba kabla ya jana ilikuwa ya kwamba nani ndio kiongozi wetu hapa Busia wa Azimio na jana the right one of Raila Amolo Odinga president wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya alisema kiwaziwazi ya kwamba daktari Paul Otoma is the leader and the team captain wa Azimio Busia account na kwa hivyo tunaamua sisi kama Azimio officially everybody in Azimio we are now recognizing and officially supporting Dr. Paul Nyongezo Toma to be the second governor of Busia. That is the official position being announced by the Azimio family of Busia. Na tukamua ya kwamba beginning now Dr. Toma takuwa na ofisi hapa contact office yake ambao ye mwenyani la kukaa ama weke mutu kukaa pali so that vila anazunguka katika Busia na kuna mutu hapa kuchukua concerned za watu wa busia sio ni sawa so that akitoka tu hapa ni cross barabara pale kuingia kwa ofisi ya governor aanze kuzoea busia siko namna hiyo na pia tunajua amemweka presidential campaign hawa ndio viongozi wetu hapa western yeye na kina oparany so sasa zingine atakiwa kule wakienda vihiga wakienda kakamega wakienda bugoma wakienda tanzoia lakini ofisi itakuwa na nyinyi wanaazimio mtamwakilisha hapa nikimalizia kusema ya kwamba your excellency ambassador Leticia very proud that you taken your time out of a very busy schedule na jua pia huko natafuta kitu lakini leo hii umeamua ukae na sisi ukamilishe vile baba alikutuma ili uje hapa i think viongozi wameongea kule ndani viongozi wameongea kule ndani tumeelewana from monday tutakuwa hapa na kazi inaendelea hii ni ofisi yenu utakuwa tena na desk of all the seven sub counties we shall set their contact desks so that ukitoka na mbale kuna desk ya na mbale ukitoka Teso South kuna desk ya Teso South ukitoka Teso North kuna desk ya Teso North ukitoka Funyula, ukitoka Butla, ukitoka Matayos we shall have contact desks na zi wote daa kujitolee ili tafukie baba kura mjiona baba mwenye akisema busie likuwa na mawana we cannot afford to be number two we cannot afford to be number two najua kikuwa na mbawani keep on being number one sindio atakuwa na one speaker zangu atakuwa na one siwezi kuwa na two speaker tena ndio so kwa hayo machache ali invite the team captain as new ambao atakaribisha asante sana our chairman of Azimio Busia chapter eh, mheshimiwa speaker wa Malwa mgeni wetu wa siku ya leo ambassador Ken Bitisia karibu sana Busia viongozi wa chama ambao wako hapa na nyinyi wote ambao mnashiriki mashabiki wa Azimio na wengine wapati officials amjam wacha nichukue nafasi hii labda kabla sija muita mwenyeji wa host today ambaye ni mheshimiwa Odanga nichukue pia nafasi hii tu kuwashukuru sana kwa kazi ambayo mnifanya jana wengi mnajua wengine hawakulala nilikuwa natembea usiku tukienda butula tunapatana na watu wamejitolea wanatembea kuangalia venue ziko sawa kukaribisha wale watu walikuwa naleta hiyo equipment za kuweka hiyo yote mlijitolea so mimi nawapigia asanti sana na mnaweza jipigia makofi. Umeenda hosu kaangalia? Mmefimo. Oh, nilikuwa naambiwa nikitoka hapa tukuje kuona kwa sikitaji na huko hapo nimeletea. Oh. Sasa, poleni sana. Nafikiria mlisikie ile ilifanyika jana. Ajali haina kingi. So, mimi tu ni kuwashukuru for that activity. Nasikia huko Vihiga walikuwa wamefanya vizuri sana. Lakini baada ya kuona hapa Busia atasema nyinyi hata umefanya yako zaidi. Ambassador mwenyewe atasikumuuza. So mimi nawashukuru because hii ni kazi ya kujitolea na mnaonesha dalili where there is a will there is a way. 
and I believe with that same determination, na hiyo spirit niliona, we are going to change this busia. If we just generate your effort niliona, Jan, we will change our county for the better of the residents of Busia. So leo sitakuwa na mengi because nilikuwa nazungumuza kule ndani nikaambia officials hapa kwamba jana tunaweza kuwa tu achieve 90% ya activities zile tulikuwa tumeset. One activity ndio hii tumemalizia leo. Kwa sababu kufungua ofisi was part of the agenda lakini wengi mnafahamu kwamba Masai likuje ka, ikatupiga kisogo kidogo na pia hiyo Masai ilifanya hatukuweza kufanya kufanya stop bali ile tulifikiria tapita kwa njia tulikuwa tumesema tutapita machakus tukuje tukitia dongosi ndio tuingie town lakini our main program ambayo nyinyi mlitengeneza wenyewe i think it was achieved other than kufungua hapa na the other one is what i was telling the official ile housekeeping kwa sababu kulikuwa na invited guests ambao walikuwa kule kwa stakeholders and there was a way they were supposed to be taken care of na hiyo haikufanyika kwa sababu ya muda lakini pia na washukuru kwa kuwa wavumilivu but we hope that uh, uh, as, a, as the team meets your housekeeping pia tutamaliza so that we set on another agenda sibaki pale eh? especially for wale watu walikuwa the invited stakeholders kulikuwa ka activity kidogo ilikuwa ifanyike lakini haikufanyika so having said that we are now going to embark on the second phase na second phase ile tuko nayo kubwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba our candidates are able to be cleared by IBC hiyo uh, desks wamesema zitakuwa hapa wale ambao labda wana shida moja mbili hapa na pale IBC ni hapa karibu we will be having secretarial services hapa chama nafikiria alikuwa amezungumzia so that tunaweza kusaidia watu we want this to be a functional office ambayo inaweza support members wa azimio i think uh, sina mengi beyond that ile tu mipango vile tutaanza kampeni kuzindua baada ya kupeana makaratasi ama kufanya vitu ya IBC I'm sure those plans are also going to be rolled. Ya pili let me also just thank the party leader wetu jana kwa kuonesha uongozi na kusema kwamba hapa Busia tunaenda huu ndio msimamo na tunaenda namna namna hii. Si mliona kimchana so mimi pia sichukui hiyo heshima kwa urais na mimi nilimwambia nitafanya kazi kutafuta kura ya governor hapa Busia usiku na mchana so that tukipata kura iwe endorsement ya watu wa Busia and ya pili pia tutamtafutia kura kama wa presidential candidate hapa Busia tusiwe tu ati hii ndio tunakuanga number one ikikuja kwa kusupport Raila Amolo Odinga in terms of rating tunataka sasa hiyo pia iwe kwa ku kwa kura so every vote counts na ndio nitaambia uwe mwanachama ya ODM huwa wanasema Busia is an orange county but let's embrace our brothers pia inazimio so that hata hiyo kura yao pia tunataka ifanyie Raila Amolo Odi Odinga na wenyewe viongozi wamesikizana kule ndani kwamba majadiliano bado itaendelea ukiona wewe una uzito ya kutosha tafadhali usupport mwenzako na useme ukienda remember me si zingine collab ni mzuri kuliko tu walking alone sinakuwa namna hiyo so viongozi wa chama nafikia vile watakuwa nakaa hapa wenyewe pia atakuwa anaangalia wanasema we want azimio because hii parliament tunaenda ndugu yangu it is not going to be easy yes yeah, yeah. hii after sasa imebaki karibu siku sabini hii bunge tunaenda kule Nairobi wale wataenda kule it will not be easy because that has to be a reform parliament na siku hizi mmejua hata ukiwa executive na hauna wabunge hauna watu kule kwa sababu hata ukiappoint watu si lazima wapitie bunge so we also need members of parliament ambao wataenda kule and that to me I'm saying hiyo ni kama war council we need a war council in that parliament people who are serious who are going to make sure that the agenda that Kenyans want my shabora is going to be implemented mlisikia juzi matiangi akiwaambia tusipochunga hii nchi itachukuliwa na wash wash so we are in a very very dangerous period kimaisha yetu hata kitaifa because watu wa wash wash wengine si mnajua 
wanapora mali ya serikali and then they want to use it to, to control siasa zetu na ku control even people who go into parliament so we must make sure that Raila has got enough members of parliament kuweza ku implement his programs otherwise it will be tough i can tell you that sisi wengine pia tumejitolea not just hatutatafuta tu kura yetu hapa in the next 60 days tumeweka kwa hiyo team ya ku make sure that western kenya delivers for Raila so wengine pia tutamangamanga leo wakina wanjala wameenda kutuwakilisha kule Transoya wengine kesho tutaenda kule Bungoma tutaenda Lihida kwa kina huyu eh, kwa kina ambassador hapa so that in the western rim ambaye pia imekuwa targeted na mumeona hata hapa Busia we are targeted every day kuna ka activity hapa na pa na pale and i have seen some of our youth wanapotoshwa na hizo vitu so it is our duty sisi wenyewe sasa after hii vitu ya nominations imekwisha let us look areas ambazo tuko weak because the last ratings mimi nilikuwa nimeona eh, uda hapa ilikuwa almost at 10% but the other day i checked it was almost 15% which means we may gain karibu 5% so let us not take anything for granted especially our youths hawa ni kama wanapotea and you know people are hiding vile umesikia sasa msalia na wetangula will be campaigning here unafikiria tu wako kwa ballot but they are not on the ballot in fraud ya kudanganya watu because they are campaigning for Ruto Uda hata Bunyasi umeona amechukua kauda ameficha hapo chini eh ndio unasikia watu wengine wanasema ati ati hao wote ni watoto wetu Bunyasi pia ni mtoto wetu namna gani unaweza kusema ni mzee wetu hmm unashikana vizuri ameficha kauda hapo kwa kona sasa hilo utakuwa unapiga tu unafikia unapiga mtu ni kumi umepigia Ruto kule eh unakuja kustukia umeingiza Uda hapa unashikana na hiyo inaweza kuwa kitu ya aibu That's why we need to campaign for any crowd by the tax collector because Musalia is not the ballot. Huyu ndio ndugu ya Musalia atawaambia maneno yake. Eh? It's from the leader you tell you huyu ni ambassador. Nikuwa na yeye. We gangu na you know they are not. Lakini ukipita hapo kwa ofisi wameweka picha ya kupotosha watu. Ni unajua jeni ni jeni. Hapa hakuna jeni ni jeni. Huyo jamaa jasimama kura. Eh? Ukataka ukasimama, si ndio? Sijui kama unanishika vizuri. Because the danger we have here now is Uda. Hii mambo ya 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 jupu ya 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 azimio tulimaliza jana. It is so obvious. Hata mlomi my next effort this evening ni kwenda kutafuta yeye na Eugene wa Mali. So that pia tuone ile tunaenda tunaenda mbele. Kwa sababu ni, ni mzee wetu pia, si ndio? Kwa sababu ya ujamongo baba alipeana instructions. Na kaa baba amesema nani anapinga tena. Eh? Sasa yetu tutaleta yetu bila disema pia tutafutie ka kitu hapo na hapa tuko angoromo the other day jemo uh, aliniita hapo kwake eh hey, hata tulikuwa na chairman yetu huyu tukasema huyu pia tumtafutie tu kitu na baba jana alisema tu pia mu mtafutie ka kitu hapo so tukikuwa hivyo nobody is being left behind kwa hii familia ya azimio nashikana vizuri that's why hata hawa wengine tumesema mtu akiona labda niko na kura 500 usiadhibu hiyo kura Eh? Usiseme wache niangukie kwa debit. Unaweza enda kwa siasa kusema ati lazima niangukie kwa debit bwana. Hiyo ni siasa gani bwana? Eh? Hiyo kura 500 weka pahali unaweza unda serikali na ukulia hapo. Sinakuanga hivyo? Yes. Eh useme Tony si uliona kasi kura yangu 500 wewe ungefaulu. Sasa wewe angalia hapo kwa hiyo kona yako hiyo ofisi. Uliona Tony hapa eh. Eh hiyo ofisi yako hiyo angalia hapo. Eh kama unaandika watu wawili patia mimi mtu mmoja. That's how people negotiate. Wezi ku negotiate for nothing. Nashikana vizuri. Yeah, and you'll see it. Mkinipe ugavana hapa hii vitu watu wana hapa iko vitu ya kufanya mingi. So long as it's productive na inasaidia wananchi. Siko hivi? Eh. So I want to urge you musi potoshwe na hiyo vitu. Because you cannot go to politics and you don't want to win power. Politics is about winning power. Ukianguka ni bahati mbaya. Na kunanga namba 2 kwa siasa. Si unajua? Hata kura moja mtu anakushinda. Sisi tulishindwa last time wengine hapa na kura kidogo. Hmm? So don't let us not waste any vote. Tusidharau mtu yoyote ama chama. Ndio mtu akikiwa hata na family yake yake na bibi yake tuchukue hiyo kura. Hata kama bibi yake hata mpigia hata hiyo yake tu tutongoze. Are you getting? Let's be good ambassadors ya kutafuta kura. Because niliona hiyo jump from 10% rating ya Uda hapa to 15% it means hiyo ka 5%. Eh? they are growing you know it's not minus but we now need in the next one two weeks to reverse it wakuja hapo wapate sasa wako 9% eh 
jiwazunguke zunguke huko kabisa na hakuna ku hide Lord nobody cheat you that kuna atuetangula na msali atuamesimama kula they cannot be the face nimeona wameweka mapicha zao wamesimama kitu gani si mmeka ya matha hapa si tunajua yeye ndio deputy mm. mm? huko kwetu hata wakina uparanya si wamegawiwa vitu hapa sema tukiunda serikali wewe ndio treasure eh? lakini uwezi kusema sasa wewe unarana tumeweka hapa nini na unadanganya because bunyasi hajaeka ruto enewe ama mwanangi yu eh hey, amejificha eh? ameficha ukisongalia vizuri utaona kaunda lakini sasa hivi sasa ile utapiga tu kura ndio utaona hiyo uda kubwa kabisa na mimi you must be careful and vigilant not to be lied to tumeshikana sasa ndio mnajua ile kazi iko hapa busia sio kazi ya kubembelezana we must come to busia here to work for our people sio tuanze kukaa hapa na kulala usiji then this country will not go now Sumanishika vizuri tena. So leo si siku ya hiyo ilikuwa tu tukumbushane that we now have got a job at hand. Na jana mlionesha when you decide to do something you can do it. In other places mnajua vizuri that sometimes is the county that hosts the party leader. But hapa nyinyi wenyewe ndio mli host tu. Vile tu mmekaa hivi tu kidogo kidogo namna hii. Ama si ndio kweli wa mama. You hosted yourself and the day became successful. It was not the county that hosted the way it is normally in other places. So you must thank yourself. It was not an easy thing to host a presidential candidate vile tu mmekaa hapa namna hii. That was a good effort and I want to thank all of you na hatutasahau. In another six days Mungu akitufungulia hii tu ndio team. You have shown you can deliver and we will not let you down. That one I can assure you. Asanteni sana. Wacha sasa nichukue nafasi hii. Nimuite mwenyeji yetu Mheshimiwa Odanga. Uh, Seme alafu amkaribishe mgeni wa siku ya leo kwa sababu nilikuwa tumechazungumza kule ndani. Karibu mheshimiwa. Asante sana. Ndio bado Oh sorry. Mbone na kumbushwa na mwenyekiti kwamba uh, mzee pia alifurahi ile kazi mlifanya ya kuwa among the first counties ambayo mli collect signatures za kuendosi yeye. Na nafikiria hii tunaweza kutambua huyu ndugu yangu si ugeuka watu wakuone si unaona haa jamani walikuwa nazunguka na hiyo mafarakano na na mwenzake ambaye yuko hospitali poleni but you did a good job on behalf of these people busia was one of the counties that in endorse mzee mapema sana sisi ni chelifu mbili na photocopy id watu hawaku complain at photocopy tutatoa hapa those who watch tv si muliona presidential candidate akisema unajua photocopy moja shiyuni shilingi tano mi nitatoa hapa asante na wanifanya hiyo bila kutuuliza hata shilingi moja So mimi nashukuru sana. Asante mheshimiwa gavana wetu mtarajiwa. Ambasada Richie ambaye ni mgeni wetu aishi na siku ya leo. Siku ambayo ilitengwa eh, kufungua hii center ya Azimio na niaba ya Baba the Fifth Raila Amolo Odinga. Asante sana kwa kusema na kufanya kazi hiyo kwa njia ambayo ni nzuri. Jambo la pili nataka kutambua uwepo hapa kwa viongozi wa vyama mbalimbali vya matanzo vya azimio na mtaamuka tu kusema majina na kukaa tuanzie na hapa madam Doris wako leba patikini bwana leri washangilie tafadhali kabisa za leri na kenya Kibiki. current MCA main the world representing the Green Party. Tamjango. Monica Mnanda representing MDG Party with David Mushem honorable member of the Senate. Bwana Yesu Sipiwe, Riziki Dunstan Makoka representing National Conservative Alliance. Bueno, dime que la entrevista es el ruso. Pedro Dilma, el secretario de Odi. Nimeona hapa pia baadhi ya wanyaji viti katika azimio letu wako hapa. Wawili na kama kuna mwingine yeyote. Maendeleo chap chap. Mimi yangu polo hadi Mdigi 
Mimi pia nataka kuwapa shukurani kwa ile kazi ambayo mlifanya jana. Sore, ni sahau kuambia ama parliamentary candidate to say aspirant for Nambari constituency. Na washukuru kwa kazi ambayo mlifanya jana mkafanya e, ikafana sana na kama vile mheshimiwa Toma amesema hiyo yote ilikuwa ni kazi yenu. Tujipigie makofi kwa kazi yenu. Uh, kuendelea mbele nataka kuwaomba kwamba tuweze kufanya namna hiyo kuonyesha sura e, nzuri ya kaunti yetu ya Busia. Mimi na hakika kwamba kiongozi wetu ambaye tarehe 9 mwezi wa tano atakuwa rais ameenda kama amefurahi sana na timu yake yote. Kwa hivyo tuendelee kufanya hivyo e, kila wakati. Sisi hapa tumekubaliana kwamba tutaungana mkono lakini tutakuwa katika competition kwa sababu ya vyama vyetu kila e, mwaniaja atatafutia e, chama chake kura zake lakini pamoja tunachafuta kura ambayo ni muhimu sana ni ya baba Raila Amolo Odinga na ya mheshimiwa Paul Nyongeso Tuoma kama gavana wetu sina namna hiyo na tunaamini kwamba kupitia gavana Otuoma hii kaunti yetu itaonyesha sura mpya kuliko vile ilivyo sasa kwanza wenyewe wamekubali kwamba lazima tutafanyia pamoja wakazi wote wa Busia we appreciate each other na tuweze kuwakilishwa ile inclusivity iwepo katika maendeleo ama katika e, serikali yake ya hii kaunti ili tuweze kusonga mbele pamoja kwa sababu tukitaka hii kaunti iweze kukua ni lazima tushikane mikono na mimi nawashukuru pia sana the way you behaved yesterday unajua behavior yenu ndio ilifanya baba baba akaamusha huyu dume na huyu dume mwingine wakashikana mkono mjipigie makofi <laughs> sitaki kuchukua muda mrefu kwa sababu hafla ilikuwa tu ni ya muda mfupi nichukue nafasi hii kwa njia ya kipekee na nyinyi mtanisaidia kwa kumkaribisha mgeni wetu wa heshima ambassador Ken Vitisha Asante sana. Azimio inawezekana. Azimio inawezekana. Mimi niko na furaha kuwa hapa Busia. Mimi kwanza namletea salamu kutoka kwa baba. Asante sorry tu interfere. Pole sana. Wabunge wetu wote wa Azimio angekuwa hapa. Lakini jana tulipotoka hii habari ya kuwa tukutane leo imefika late. So wengine walikuwa wameenda Mali pengine kama mesikia mshimua wanjala yuko tuanzoya katika mkutano kama uliokuwa hapa jana huko Kwa hivyo pokeeni ya polo jiza wabunge Asante asante watawanea kwa mtandaosu watawana tu e, Mimi niko faraha kufika hapa Jana wakati baba likuwa hapa alifurahia sana mipangilio yenye Akasema leo kwa sababu likuwa mmepanga afike hapa Mimi kama moja wawa wa azimio kutoka vihiga nikuje hapa ni msaidie kufungua hii ofisi. Na hii ofisi mjipigie makofi. Na baba atakuja kuingia kwa hii ofisi. Alisema wewe enda fungua lakini mimi nitakuja wakati nitakuwa busia nitapitia kwa hiyo ofisi. Hii ofisi ni nzuri, ni kubwa, inaonyesha azimia iko hapa eh, busia. Azimia iko wapi? Hapa busia. Na wakati baba amekuwa hapa jana ile limfurahisha ni ile umati wa watu wengi ambao mlimobilize watoke kumkaribisha na kuwa kwa rally zake hata wakati ilikuwa inanyesha sisi sote tulisema hawa watu wa Busia wanapenda baba hata mliona baba alikataa hata kutoka kwa mvua akasema mimi nitakaa kwa mvua na hawa watu wa Busia Nataka mwenyele hivyo hivyo Hivi ni Azimio family Na tukasema Baba nyumba yake ni Nyumba yake ni Kubwa Nyumba ya Azimio ni Kubwa Yunasikia Otoma kisema hapo Usisema nataka kukufia kwa debe 
Watakukufia kwa debe kwa jiki. Eh? Atipaka kwa debe. Wacha nimalizie kwa debe. Tunasema kitu ya kwanza kama asimio. Ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba baba amepata kura karibu 60%. Atutaki 50 plus 1. 60% across the whole country. Hapa busia mpatie baba MPs wote. Wazimio. Mukifanya hivyo, slots and nomination zinakuwa nyingi. Lakini mukipatia half, then wale wengine ambao mna step down, na mwezi pata nomination, lazima nomination zitoke kwa kura ambao na idadi ya wabunge mpatia. Kwa county assembly pia, jo baba lisema mwe na captain moja, ile kura zote za vya matanzo vietu za azimio ziende kwa kikapu ya mtu, moja. MCS awe kutoka MDG, awe kutoka Kanu, awe kutoka Jubilee. Make sure that every word has an azimio winner. Azimio winner. Hili ya saidia Captain Wenyu hapa kazi. Kwa sababu atashinda. Captain akua governor akua na MCS two thirds of the house. Ndi atafanya kazi vizuri ya kujenga hii mji wa wabusia. Mimi nimekuwa special envoy wa president Uhuru na pia kapla hiyo nikuwa president kibaki special envoy to the great next region. Nilikuwa napita hapa sana. Na ukiona kwa makaratasi ya East African community busia imeweka huko mbele ambao towns ambao ziko na potential kubwa za kuwa na uchumi bora hapa busia. Ni bipangilio tu. Ruto anasema kazi zibaki wapi? Mombasa. Sisi tunasema utoma. Hapa lazima tuwe na inland port ya kupeleka vitu mpaka dia. Ili kazi pia zikuje wapi? Busia. Sasa hapa ni infrastructure development. Make sure these trucks are able to be given facilities so that Busia now grows from infrastructure that enables export of commodities from Kenya, from abroad to Burundi, Rwanda, DRC, mpaka hata Congo and Sudan. Kazi yuko. Otuoma, pata wajumbe wa county assembly wakusaidie hii eh, Busia hapa western. Busia hata itachinda kakameda kwa sababu hapa is the greatest potential for economic growth in the whole of West Africa. Sitai kusema mengi, mimi nilikuja tu kufanyia baba kazi. Kazi yangu ilikuwa tu kufungua hii ofisi na mimi nitarudi kwake. Kaambia watu wa Busia, pati zote zimesema zitaungana pamoja ili kuhakikisha umepata kura zote wapi Busia. Mimi natoka Vihiga. Mimi sasa hivi mimi ndio msemaji wa Maragoli. Sisi wa Maragoli tumekataa tutakuwa kwa opposition. Tutataka kuwa ndani ndani ya. Na tuliambia baba, usiogope kuja bihiga kwa sababu ya mdavadi. Mdavadi alipata zake pesa mfukoni ya akaenda. Sisi sasa tuko bihiga, sisi ndio msema, wasemaji bihiga. Bihiga ni azimio na limuona jalo. Mbale, Luanda, kila pahali mdete baba alikuwa watu walijitokeza kwa wingi kuja kumlaki na kusema hapa ni azimio na kuonyesha baba that i believe that azimio will win i believe in his leadership mimi mwenyewe nimesimama kwa kiti ya azimio odm vihiga constituency na hiyo nitachukua kwa sababu watu wa vihiga wamesema tunataka kuwa ndani ndani ya serikali na sisi tunajua busia hapa wametupita mara nyingi wakiwa number one kwa ODM na azimio mara hii kama mtajunga mtaona nataka kuonyesha mdavadi yeye si maragoli peke wako wengine na eh? wako na hizi pia si ndivyo siko wengine wa unaume na hizi vitu si yeye peke yake sisi tuko na tutafanya juu chini 
baba apate 50 plus 1 kutoka lihiga huko 70 yake wamwambia apate 70 hapo mimi najua atapata 2% kama eh, vihiga tunaweza mpatia 30 kwa sababu nizalia huko eh? lakini pahali pengine kakamega atapata vingine 20 sasa 70% itatoka wapi so akikuja hapa simdanganye ati yako kwa serikali serikali gani serikali inakuja ni ya a z nio stay kusema mengi stay kunena mengi niko na furaha kuwa hapa i've been honored greatly honored to be requested to open this office by the party leader and our fifth president of the republic of kenya god bless and asante ni sana i asante i think the party mgeni wetu makofi proper na make ndio najua juu ya siasa ya excellence siasa ya Kenya na ukipiga hesabu vizuri nitaka kujua timu ambayo nitaku anguka kura angalia penye mudavadi yuko don't ever think beyond that ukiona kiingia timu hiyo ni shida don't even go beyond that ukiona mudavadi akiingia mahali hawezi shida kura sisi busia tunajua hayuko na sisi therefore hiyo kura hiyo timu shambo so tutamalizia hapo tukue na volunteer mmoja akiombe tafadhali one volunteer tafadhali mtu atuombe Uombe. Toa kofia kidogo tafadhali kama si kidini. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, naona ngo ya kai na kama ni asante kwa siku ya leo. Asante kwa ile ifanjana, pia asante kwa ile Simba ile ndio sinuo kwa baada ya kwanza serikali ambayo tunataka kuelekea. Baba kila jambo tumeleta mbona. Baba tumeleta tumeleta mbona. Mungu amani bariki mwezi na kuomba kura baba wacha sasa kwa kanya kwa moyo wa damu hivyo kwa kujua kwa kweli asante Mungu amani kwa sababu ya kwa kweli wala mbaka hapo wengine wamesema kura babu wabariki kapate kiti kwa sababu ya kwa katika kila takatifu ni mwenye kuamini asante asante hiyo chai